Hello dear students. In this video, I will briefly show you how to solve linear systems of equations. You have three methods to choose from, which are, equivalent equations method, substitution method and elimination method. But first of all, what is a linear system of equations? First, you have to know what a linear equation is. And this is something like y equals x plus 2. So in a linear equation, you have an unknown x and an unknown y. And a system arises when you have two equations like for example y equals 2x minus 1. We have these two equations, the first, equation 1, and the second, equation 2. And such a system of equations can be solved by finding the values for x and y which satisfy both equations, and to find the values for x and y, that is, to solve the system, you can use one of the three methods. Let's start with the equivalent equations method first. As the name implies, here one equates the two equations. That is, here y equals x plus 2, and here y equals 2x minus 1. So we can say, that y equals y. And then we can see that this y here is x plus 2. This y is also here. So here we write x plus 2, because that's the same, and then we say that y equals 2x minus 1. Then this y is 2x minus 1, and now we can use equivalency to change this equation. For example, we say minus x on both sides, then it falls away on the left, here the 2 is left. Then we have 2x minus x, and the minus 1 still there. 2x minus x gives 1x left over. Now to erase the minus 1, we add plus 1 on the left side, which gives 2 plus 1, that is of course 3. And here on the right, the x remains. So x equals 3 would be the first solution. Of course we still want to know what y is. So then we put this x in the first equation or the second equation, either one works. Let's use the first. The first equation is up here with y equals x plus 2, let's put that down there. And we see, x is now here specifically 3, so x equals 3, and we insert the 3 here, and 3 plus 2 is 5. And now let's take the second one, and see if it really works like what we have said. Set the 3 here for this x, then here is 2 times 3. 2 times 3 is 6, and 6 minus 1 is 5. That means, y is 5. And that's it. The solution for our system of equations is x equals 3 and y equals 5. And only with these two values do our two equations work. And if you are unsure then you can try putting the values in here x is 3, y is 5, x is 3, and if you figure it out, you find that here is 5 equals 5 and here is 5 equals 5. Both are true. Okay, the second method is the substitution process. Let's take two new equations, and now we say, here is a variable, and here is a variable. We can insert this term here for y. Let's do that. So let's take the first down here, that's the first formula, which is y equals 2x minus 1. That's what we are writing now here for y in equation 1. So 2x minus 1 we insert here now for this y, and as you can see, here we have only x left. The y fell out, so now we can calculate x. And this is just simple transformations, 2 times 2x and here minus 2 times 1. We take the parentheses away, and then it says here 2 times 2 is 4x, 2 times 1 is 2, and we move the minus 2 to the end, and now it says that x plus 4x is 5x, of course. And the minus 2, which we pull over with plus 2, so we get 5x, minus 2 falls away. Over here we have 4 plus 2, and that's 6. Then there is 5 times x, and we get rid of the 5 by simply dividing by 5. 
Then there is x equals 6 divided by 5, which equals 1.2. OK, now we have calculated the result for x. As before, we now put x in equation 1 or 2. Let's do that. Let's take equation 2, down here, and insert x. Then here is 2 times x, and x is 1.2. 2 times 1.2 is 2.4, and 2.4 minus 1 is 1.4. Well, now we have y2, and now we are done. Of course you can now check if the values y equals 1.4 and x equals 1.2 are correct. Insert them and the two equations will come out to be correct. And last but not least, let's look at the elimination process. Let's take two example equations and apply the procedure to these two equations. The elimination process is about removing an unknown variable with specific transformations and then adding the first and second equations. So either y has to go, or x has to go. And the addition takes place directly for both variables. That is, we calculate the y's together. We calculate the x's together, and the two values at the end together. Let's do that. That means we can now write, equation 1 plus equation 2. Then we get y plus 2y. As a next step, we always write plus. Now comes plus 2x, plus, now comes minus x. Then comes the equal sign. And here the minus 4 plus the minus 1. And if we simplify that, we have 3y here and x here, and we would still have both variables. The goal, however, is to eliminate one of them, so that we can calculate whichever one is left. That means we have to transform something here. As we know, we are allowed to transform equations with equivalence transformations, for example, by multiplying the same number on both sides. And here in our example we will do that with the second equation y. We can get rid of 2x here by getting minus 2x here. So the minus x has to become minus 2x for that. And how do you do that? You have to multiply the whole equation by 2 to change it. If we copy it down again, then there is 2y times 2, minus x times 2, and minus 1 times 2. 2y times 2 equals 4y, minus 2x and here minus 2. And then, since it has changed, we write a prime symbol over it. Now we take the first equation again, and compare it. Here it says plus 2x, and here is now minus 2x. And indeed, we can now add both equations again. So we write 1 plus 2 and calculate, y plus 4y then plus, then 2x, plus, and then comes minus 2x. Then comes the equal sign. And now there is minus 4, plus, and then comes the minus 2. So now let's see if x goes away, let's simplify that. y plus 4y is 5y, then 2x, here it says plus and minus, so we have just minus. And then we have 2x minus 2x, and that's just 0. Wonderful. The x has been eliminated. And over here we have minus 4 plus minus is just minus, and minus 4 minus 2 is minus 6. If we take the parentheses off, then here we have 5y plus 0. We can also take away 0. So that's now equal to minus 6. And to get the 5 away, we divide by 5 on both sides and then y equals minus 6 fifths. And 6 divided by 5 is 1.2. That's our result for y. So, with this result, we put in minus 1.2 for y in equation 1 or 2. And then we can determine the value of x. Let's do that for equation 1. In equation 1, let's copy it down here. This y is now minus 1.2. Next we can transform the equation by adding 1.2 on both sides. Then minus 1.2 falls away. 
now we have 2x equals minus 4 plus 1.2 and minus 4 plus 1.2 is minus 2.8 now we remove the 2 from the x by dividing by 2 on both sides. Then it says 2 times x divided by 2 is x and over here minus 2.8 divided by 2 is of course minus 1.4 and we already have the solution for x. And now we could, as before, set the values for x and y and insert them into the two equations. At the end, we want to show another insight. How you can imagine the elimination process with concrete values. Here we can take simple numbers such as 5 plus 7 equals 12 and in a second equation 2 plus 3 equals 5. And if we now add the individual numbers together, 5 plus 2 equals 7. Then plus, then 7 plus 3 equals 10, then the equal sign, and up here 12 plus 5 equals 17. And as we can see, when adding, we now have 7 plus 10 on the left. And that's 17, exactly the sum that we now have on the right side. That is, if we add both equations on the left, and add both equations on the right side, both sides are still equivalent, and are the same value. Well done. One last note at the end. When solving linear systems of equations, you always have the opportunity to choose whichever method you want, because they always lead to the same result. In this video I showed you how these three methods work. In the following parts of this lesson I will show you why this works and what's behind it, especially with regard to linear functions.